Hello, we're back. In this video lecture, we're going to be talking about diseases, coding diseases, if you will, of the genitourinary system. These all begin with the letter N. And these codes are codes for diseases and disorder, not only of the urinary system, but the male and female reproductive system, disorders of the breast, and any complications occurring in the intraoperative and postoperative period. There's specificity that includes identification of the patient's gender for certain disorders. You'll see a few instructional notes, if you will, it says nodes, sorry about that, that appear throughout the chapter to indicate when an additional code should occur. For example, N00 through N808, glomular disease, you would also code any associated kidney failure. Let's take a quick look at that one, along with N17 and N10. Again, for a code falling in code categories N00 through N08, you are supposed to code any associated kidney failure. There is one excludes note for hypertensive chronic kidney disease, I11.2. So that's a carve out from this. And you'll see some other important notes here. Code first underlying disease under N08. And then under 10 with acute polynephritis, you're advised to use the additional code to identify the infectious microorganism. With chronic kidney disease, we need to code first any associated underlying condition as talked about on the other slide, right? And we use an additional code to identify the kidney transplant status if there is one. N30 is cystitis, that's a bladder infection. And with all infections, we'll use another code to identify the infectious agent. In this case, we need to code it as a second code or an additional code. Another thing that is helpful to remember is that there's certain inclusion notes in chapter 14. And this talks about other terminologies used for the same condition that would be the same code. So for instance, N19, unspecified kidney failure, includes such terms as uremia, not otherwise specified. N40, benign prostatic hypertrophy, includes such terms as benign hypertrophy of the prostate, BH, BPH, enlarged prostate, and so on. And here we have nephritic syndrome, which includes clom chronic glomular nephritis and chronic nephritis. As you look at this, be clear on what is nephritic syndrome versus nephrotic syndrome. They are two entirely different things with two entirely different codes. You'll also see in N10 through N16, renotubular interstitial disease, N70, salpingitis, ophritis, and N97, female infertility. Another important point to remember is that when we code chronic kidney disease, there are five stages that, char that correspond to the last character of the code. Be sure and read the documentation carefully to get the chronic kidney disease. Even patients who have had a kidney transplant can have some sort of form of chronic kidney disease. Finally, the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video lecture is the non-inflammatory disorders of the female genital tract, the N83 and N98. And these are such things as endometriosis, genital prolapse, fistulas, and so on.
And again, on this slide, we see the dysplasia in 87 and 90, the CIN1, where it's just cervical intrapethial neoplasia. When it becomes moderate, it becomes two. And then when it becomes severe, it's CIN3. And that's all I have for you. Stop by office hours if you have any questions about this material. Bye now.